All right, guys, welcome back. It's Barbell Medicine Two Minute Tuesday here on the YouTube channel. We're here at Sydney Strength Training with Joe Pemberton and Reese Stenet. These are the only starting strength coaches here on the East Coast of Australia. Joe, what's going on, man? Oh, we've had a good weekend. We did, uh, you did a couple of seminars. We had a good day out on the boat yesterday. So it's been really good fun. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, so we're going to have all their contact info in uh, the description below. So if you're coming through Australia or if you're over here already and you need some good coaching, this is the place to be. The only starting strength gym in Australia. So if you're in the area, you should definitely check these guys out. We're going to do a very special format uh, this week again. So last week I had Tom troll me with a two-minute Tuesday that turned into a two-minute Tuesday with an eight-minute after party. We're going we're gonna to be even a little closer this week. So we're going to have Reese here, who is a starting strength coach. He's going to ask a question. Now, Tom's going to get two minutes. Joe's going to get two minutes. Then I'm going to get two minutes. Reese is going to get no minutes. But it's not because we don't like him. It's just because we want to keep this brief. All right. So without further ado, Reese, what is the question? Okay. Would you or would you not recommend yoga to older clients? Why or why not? <laughs> Say hi to the internet. Hi guys. Hi guys. What's up, Rach? Hi. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, 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 this is uh, for the two. For the two. Well, my life is like a series of two, you know? It's like, it's for, it's for vlogging, yeah. So, Sydney Harbor, boat time. I generally would not recommend yoga to older clients because I am not a yoga coach and <laughs> I am a barbell coach. And in general, I think that range of motion is best acquired through strength training. And there are a number of older people who are not range of motion limited in the same way that they are strength limited. Uh, as people age, they become more and more inactive and they experience sarcopenia, which is the loss of muscle tissue. It's the observation that people lose, you know, something like, uh, what is it, 10% of their strength of their muscle tissue per uh, decade. Per decade. Mm -hmm. uh, that is probably not just a physiological occurrence. It's probably mediated by inactivity and they would be best aided by actually getting stronger. You will actually get range of motion in things like a squat or a press best by actually getting stronger. And given that many of these people would experience very significant increases in the quality of life, I would worry about strength first. Yeah. In fact, I think I'm under two minutes, right? Brevity is the soul of wit. <laughs> I, will endeavor, I will endeavor to be brief. All right. <laughs> Joe? Yeah, so would I recommend yoga? Um, Obviously, I'm biased towards strength training, but if range of motion is what we're interested in, um, if that's what we're talking about, um, I think that potentially you can achieve better ranges of motion by strength training. By because when a range of motion is limited, uh, if you can, if you make the muscles stronger, you can actually obtain a better range of motion because those muscles can pull the bones into the ranges that you want them to go into. But I'm going to play a uh, bit of a contrarian role and present another argument here. If somebody had no access to strength training and yoga was the only thing that they could possibly do, then I might say, you know what? Yoga is going to be better than doing nothing because uh, – because you will get some adaptations to doing yoga, you know. But if it's a choice, if you've got the choice between the two, I think the net gains that you're going to get from strength training are going to outweigh what you get from yoga, especially when you take into consideration the time and effort that you put into each one. Strength training for an older person isn't that hard at the start, and you get really amazing results. Whereas yoga is kind of hard, and the results are. Yeah. Yep. 
Um, okay, so two minutes. I think good points of view. So I, I kind of agree with my colleagues. The deal is this. So on a like rate return on investment standpoint from muscle mass strengthening, range of motion improvement, um, yoga is not as good as strength training. Um, so first of all, range of motion is specific to the what you're doing, right? So if you're trying to train range of motion for the squat, for instance, and it ha- and you're not doing squatting, okay, you're suboptimally achieve- improving your range of motion compared to just squatting more. So things like Ram Wad, which is effectively yoga for lifters, or yoga proper, which there are multiple different iterations and subsets, are ultimately uh, suboptimal ways to increase your range of motion for squatting compared to just squatting, which is why we don't recommend it. Uh, in, in place of squatting, right? If you have unlimited training resources, perhaps yoga improves your social circle, improves your you know mental uh, you know status, your decreases stress levels, this that and the other. So it could be useful from that standpoint. Um, you know, from an actual strength and conditioning standpoint, I think that you'd be better served by strength training rather than doing doing yoga. Uh, that being said, if you have somebody yeah who can't do anything else, I find yoga at the far end of, you know, things I would say, that's fine. I would rather you do body weight workouts. I'd rather you go to the machines and do, you know, a machine based workout. I'd rather you do calisthenics all before doing yoga. And the thing is the scalability of yoga is less than, um, barbell training or machine loaded training stuff like that. And, you know, there's going to be yogis are like, no, we can scale anything. But the point is it's still effective. Not can you do it? Is it still effective? Right? It's like the CrossFit workout that involves a PVC pipe. Is it still effective? Even though you can do it, the efficacy, I think, drops to a certain level. So this doesn't mean I don't like yoga. Again, if you have unlimited resources, you've been training a long time, you want to do yoga because it makes your life better, knock yourself out. Let's just not uh, lie to ourselves about the reasons that we're doing it. So as far as from a strength and conditioning standpoint, me from a fat loss standpoint, me from a range of motion standpoint, I just think it's a non-specific way to train. <laughs> so hey, that's- What are your thoughts on this? Jesus Christ, did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you have to sit. Yeah, I'll put the picture up. I'll put the picture up. <laughs> yeah, I will definitely put a, a high red. That's wow. You know, well, well done, lads. Very, very good. Very good. Very good. I have nothing for that. All right, yeah. guys. Thanks for tuning in to the Barbell Medicine YouTube channel. If you liked the video, hit like, subscribe, share with your friends, and we'll see you next Tuesday. Good day. All right, we're here on the boat with uh, Sydney Strength Training. We got Joe Pemberton Reese. Strength coaches in Sydney. Yep. Uh, where can people find out more about your gym? Uh, SydneyStrengthTraining.com.au okay. or at Sydney Strength Training on the uh, Grand. Okay. Do you guys have any starting strength training camp coming up, or what's going on? Any we'll events? We'll probably have a uh, we'll have a camp maybe in the year, and uh, maybe do a strength lifting meet later in the year. I think. Very good. Yeah. But more importantly, look at this beard. Just look at this man. It's like Adam Levine, but jacked. Yeah.